Good evening from Sir Henry's Haunted Trail out here in Plant City, Florida. We're about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour away from Orlando and away from the parks. And this is one of our very favorite hometown haunts. We came here a few weeks ago and we got a little preview of what they're doing this year. And tonight is the night that we get to experience it in full force. I'm so excited for this. So we have a few rules. We are here for a media event. So they gave us the rules that we can film facing us and we can use a light. So I've got a, I've got a whole setup, the same setup that I had last year. And if you want to see last year's video, we'll put a link to that in the description down below. But basically I have like a camera mount that is attached to me and we're going to go through the haunted house like that. It's going to be a fun time. We should get in in about 15 minutes to kind of look around, get a look at everything with the lights on, like, well, it's still sunny out. And then once the sun goes down, it's time to get spooky. So this will be a little bit more of an adult themed video. There is going to be gore. There's going to be scares. There's going to be jump scares. There's going to be flashing lights. There's going to be loud noises. So if those are things that bother you, probably shouldn't watch this video. But for the rest of you guys, who's ready to get spooky? Let's do it. All right, we're headed in to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. Oops, I fell in a hole. Oh, this is cool. It's like a little pumpkin patch. Rusted out old tractor. So they have a really neat system here at Sir Henry's where you get a color when you check in and that is the order that you do the trails in. That way they can make sure that the lines move quickly by kind of regulating and just dictating where the crowd goes. So here's a look. We have the three mazes, Captain's Fury, Blood Masquerade, and then Night Marrow back in the backpack there. And Pyram Snare, that was Pyram right there. And he is going into Pyram Snare because Pyram Snare is the escape room. This is the tree right here in the center of the property. This looks awesome. So this will be a light show once it gets darker. But right now, it's got some spooky atmosphere. Ooh. That was scary. It's just trying to give somebody the news. I don't think, oh no! But he didn't have any eyes. Do you remember back to the preview video that we came out here and shot? This is the final product of Blood Masquerade. A three-story facade. And boy, is it impressive. And then over here is Breakout, the laser tag game that they have here. There's also a sign that says, Masks are strongly recommended, but they are not required. There's Sidious right there. No, he's ready. He's coming to get some more bones for his throne. <laughs> oh my. She's out here telling the story of Sir Henry. They also have corn dogs for sale over here. Looks like we got some shave ice. They have a statue of Sir Henry. There he is. Sir Henry, and then they have a few fun photo ops. A little pumpkin patch, and then you can put your head through the, the tombstone right there. And then they have a chair over here. Looks like it's made out of bones, but I think it's made out of driftwood that you can sit in and take your photo underneath the sign. Then, then of course, they also have spooky eats available. Donuts? Some, oh, that sounds delicious. And then beverages. Nice, reasonable prices for what sounds to be delicious items. They also have a little farmer's market over here where you can get apple cider, assorted jams and jellies, barbecue sauces, preserves, all homemade stuff. They also have a book available for purchase that is based off of this haunted trail. And they have the authors are here right now and they are selling copies of it. And people can buy it on Amazon as well if they can come out here and buy it on site. We are supporting a small business, so it would be awesome to do it. They said it's also available on Amazon, so if you're interested in reading this, you would be supporting a small business. That was very cool. I can't wait to get home and read this. When you come in, be sure to watch out for Fred, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> That's so brilliant. 
Of course. Mr. M, what's up, guys? guys? How's it going? It's going good. Good yeah. to see you guys again. Thank you. It's good to be back. Awesome. A little, little different than the last time you were here. Yeah. Make sure you get the chance to do the escape room, laser tag, all that fun stuff. Will do. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy, Tim. So, the time has come for us to switch to the body mount for the camera and get ready to go into some of the haunted houses, into some of the haunted trails. I'm excited. Are you guys ready? Let's go get spooky. First stop of the night, we're headed into Captain's Fury. On the outskirts of Castlemore lies a dark fishing town named Portsmouth. A young fishing captain is soon to be married to the love of his life, Abigail. But Captain Wilhelm Jonah is soon sent back out to sea for work. When his ship falters in an unexpected nor'easter, the captain and his crew are believed to be lost at sea forever. In mourning and deep sorrow, Abigail seeks to end her suffering the only way she can think of. She jumps to her death from the lighthouse. Her ghost is said to be seen walking along the lighthouse balcony looking for her long lost love. Many moons later, an eerie fog rolls into Portsmouth. Soon, reports of mysterious murders and tragic deaths begin to swirl. Some claim that it is the ghost of Abigail, but the old timers in the village know what the truth is. The captain has returned from sea. Blurring the lines between living and dead, Captain Jonah has come back for the love of his life, only to learn of her tragic death. In his anger and pain, he takes his wrath to the village who has caused him to lose everything, bringing some of his crew from the sea back with him to carry out his revenge. Who is next to join him in the watery grave? Captain is here. All right. All right. Oh. Hey guys. How's it going? It's going great. Where are you going? I don't know. I... Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Just a... Oh, jeez, the wheeze. That doesn't sound good. It's just sharpening a knife on a boat. Also, doesn't seem practical. Okay. What do what? Oh no, that's not good. Man, we're in like the tackle shop. There's something on the outside of the walls. I'd like to buy some bait. Oh uh, yeah, actually. Oh no, I think the bait is human. The land of the captain! Okay. He's back! He's back. The captain is back? Okay. I said get out! I'm going, I'm going, bro. You're gonna die tonight! That's not good! Captain will be expecting you! For that to happen. <laughs> Yard now. Uh oh. Let's go, move faster. Okay. We gotta go quicker. Come on, boy, you think I was joking? We're real crappy to stay. Okay, we're coming, we're coming. Got to do, places to be. Oh, jeez. There's a scuba diver. There was, there was a, like a tiny sailor that was dead that was yelling at us. Come on, big man. There I know you move faster okay. now. Let's go. Jeez, Louise. I like that. Very demanding. Hello. Okay, hello. How's it going? They seem like they're having a good day at least. It's just some fish. Oh, there's a dead body. Hi. Okay, hey. How's it going? I like that. They scare like I would scare somebody. Just, just with just general like niceties. Like, hope you're having a good day. No, that that wasn't nice. He's telling somebody wants to eat me. Oh, I ran into something. What are you doing here? I don't know. Don't get caught if I make fun of that either. That's not good. Oh, Get that boy. Okay. The captain's gonna get you. That's not good. Okay, got some steps here. Okay. Whoa. All right. Oh, the, the, the thing is falling. There's a big, there's a big shark up there too. I missed out on him because I was so concerned with the thing falling on me. 
Jeez Louise. That was fun. I like that. Yeah, I did it. The captain didn't eat me. I think that's what he wanted to do, right? Well, Captain's Fury was super fun. I really did enjoy that. I missed out on a few things because the light was in my face, which I think we will go through one more time without the camera so that we can get the full feel of it and kind of like see where everything was because like I said, the light does make it harder for me to see what's happening. So I think we're headed over to Nightmare. Next, so far, this one was great. Very much enjoyed it. All right, up next, Night Marrow. They told me that this one's the scariest. In a small town, a cemetery worker notices graves are being dug up and left empty. After an investigation ensues, the constable discovers that the sawmill owner has been robbing graves and feasting on the bones of the deceased. To add to the horror, in the basement of his home, he's building a whole throne from the stolen bones. A disgusted and angry mob captures the sawmill owner and decide to hang him. In his final words, he vows to return and avenge his death. As soon as the noose drops, a flock of ravens descends upon his body and feast on his flesh. Now, every Hallow's Eve, when the veil between the living and the dead is the thinnest, he rises from the depth of darkness and returns to the town. With the help of his loyal ravens, he hunts the living to exact his revenge and finish his throne. The townsfolk have taken to calling him Sidious. Will you escape Sidious, or will you become another bone in his throne? All right, we're going in. Oh, I've already run into stuff. I need my bones still though. Like if I if I want to keep my bones. Oh jeez. They're trying to get my bones. Alright. We're doing okay. Not so bad. We're just going into the woods. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Just noises coming from out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Well, I lost it. Oh okay, there we go. Whoa! Okay. The crows, I was oh, okay. The ravens, they're coming to big get my bones too. Oh, there's somebody at my feet. This is gonna take your bones. It's not good. Bones, 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 bones. The bones, okay. That's how they get your bones. <laughs> you can tell when somebody wants your bones by how scary their laugh is. Ooh. Oh no. That's not good. I think Somebody's digging on my cage, Tim! And they're taking the bones! Well, I, I don't. It's not me! Just the bones! Just the bones. We're in a mausoleum now. Kind of scary. Oh, I'm come running at you. All right, don't mind us. Just leisurely walking through the woods. We actually don't have bones. So you're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, see, I think that worked. I told him I didn't have any bones. No, I don't think it worked. It didn't work. Still following me. Okay. We made it out okay. Okay. That was a close one. There's like a dilapidated shed over here. Whoa. The fence was trying to get my bones even. This thing is scary. There's like just like a hanging body. See, I feel good though because they didn't take their bones. So we don't have to worry about like maybe they won't. Maybe they won't try it. Oh! Wow. Frightening. Uh oh. There's things making noise in the woods. Oh. 
Sidious again. Trying to get my bones. Watch out, tree. Can't have my bones either, tree. I feel like this entire time somebody is following me. Oh no. See, I feel like they want the bones, so they've got them just hanging up around here. Not that they're ignoring these bones, they've already taken these bones. Okay. Oh man. There's like a, a shrine here. To, oh! Okay. It's a bone shrine. That's not good. They're gonna cut my bones out. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't need them. If I don't have any bones, I can't walk around. Well, that was fun. We did it, though. We made it out without what we got. We still got our bones. All right. One for Tim. Zero for Sidious. Okay, so Nightmare just took the top spot for me because number one, Sidious like was following me. I'm here with a friend and I thought that they were right behind me. Turned around to say something to him. It was Sidious. He was just there like looming right over my shoulder. Scared the bejesus out of me. Then there was this this raven person. They were like half person, half raven. that just kind of like popped out. From the, they weren't even like hiding. You could see them, but you couldn't quite make out what it was. You saw there was a human form but there was a raven head, so it was confusing to your mind. And as you got closer and closer, you still like were like, what is that? And then they let out a call. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's a raven person. And then they like, you're like, that was awesome. And then you go around a corner and there was a, a fence and they like stuck their beak through the fence. And it looked amazing. And then at the very end, there's a chainsaw scare, but they have this green laser set up that pulls through the fog. And you can see they have like hanging bodies around and that's like, oh, okay, there's bodies here, but then the person with the chainsaw turns on the chainsaw, you can hear it right there, and then comes running through the fog and then is backlit by the green laser. Oh, it looked amazing. So visually stunning. So it was fantastic. I really enjoyed Nightmare. Like, I think that, that was my favorite so far. I cannot recommend this place enough. It's so much fun and such a good time. And they're putting so much heart into it too. The scare factor is definitely there. And just being out in the woods adds to that because you are just out in the woods. Another thing I should mention is you should bring bug spray because we are in the woods. There is woods that you're going into. So be prepared for that. Another thing too is there are three houses and they have given the color codes in the order that you should go through the houses to try to minimize the lines. But you should know that there will be some waiting because they are pulsing you through. So you're gonna go through the house just with your group. So be prepared. Ooh, there's a blind paper boy over here that's just trying to, it's trying to get me. All right, up next, Blood Masquerade. The Mikolos are a wealthy, eclectic, aristocratic family descended from the Romanian immigrants, but they carry with them a secret heritage. They believe that they are direct descendants of Vlad the Impaler in honor of their daughter coming of age and to feed their hunger, the Mikolos are throwing a grand ball. Their pale appearance in contrast with their ruby red lips, along with their pointy teeth neatly filed, gives an illusion to their alleged distant vampire ancestor. Luring guests into their cellar, they trap them and use a variety of homemade devices to cipher blood from their victims. They bottle excess blood in vintage wine bottles to avert suspicion. Tucked away in the deepest, darkest part of the cellar is a beastly creature who feeds on the remains of their drained victims. A defective gene in the family line that only blood can activate. This creature is the core of the family. Will you thwart the allure or will you become a bottled memory ready to be consumed? Ooh. We're going into the party. Hi, I have been growing hungry every second. Look familiar. Oh, hey, how's it oh, going? the Tim Tracker will make the best garnish on our dinner. <laughs> I thought we were coming to no! oh. I thought we were coming to dinner, not to be dinner. Oh, <laughs> 
that's not good. Another guest seems to be having, oh, we're in the bathroom. We're running through the bathroom. Another guest seems to be having ill effects from the wine. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Come at me from all angles. It's dinner time! Oh. oh no, there's a, a head. That's not good. Okay. Don't worry. Finally, I'm just famished. Jeez Louise. Your chocolate looks delicious, sir. Thank you. That's quite the compliment. I don't know where I'm at anymore. Okay, I see it. Alright. I think we're going down into the cellar now. Well, there's like a... I ran into a wall. Okay, here we go. Please, 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 what do I have to do? Put it out I don't like that. What is this? Oh, there's like a coffin here. Very old. Alright, oh, this is all the wine right here. Now we're down in the cellar. Oh! So that was Blood Masquerade. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I think it was a little bit spooky that they all knew my name and that they were all coming after me. I like the interactions though, like I like the characters and everybody will get that sort of interaction because you're being pulsed through. So it'll just be your group and the actors will be following you around and talking to you and like trying to convince you to give them your blood. And I'm happy to say we didn't give anybody our blood. We made it out. Beware of how far you wander these paths after dark, for the bride's killer still lives within the hopeless. Hungry for blood. Sir Henry's not alone in his pursuit of postmodern justice. Even the youngest citizens of Boggy Meadow know if they neglect their chores or torment each other, they will have to answer to that. A person or a creature of sorts that generates electricity from her deadly staff. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail in Plant City, Florida. Phenomenal time. I had such a good time. Such a fun haunt too. It's always fantastic to support local haunts. And these guys, they really put their heart and soul into this haunt. And it's scary. Like you will get scared coming here. They do a good job of separating people out, pacing the houses, like pulsing the houses, and making sure that people have the shortest wait possible by spreading people out throughout the event, depending on when they show up throughout the night. Be prepared though, you will wait on a busy night. However, they do have front of the line available and they are spreading people out so that you will wait the least amount of time possible. But because they pulse people through the house, they are pulsing groups through the house, you get a better experience in the house, but you do have to wait a little bit longer outside. So it's well worth the wait. It's such a fantastic haunt. So I do recommend you guys come out and check out Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. Thank you to Sir Henry's for inviting us out for the media night. I did also want to mention that every ticket sale does give a donation to Folds of Honor. Not only do you get a fantastic haunt, you are supporting a charity. So all in all, a fantastic night. Come and check out Sir Henry's. We'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can learn more about the haunt and where to buy tickets. And with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Alexis. And I'm Chris. And if you like spooky stuff, check out the Frightful Failures podcast. And now it's time to pay the price.